is Dead Island 2 worth playing here and now in 2024 and beyond? You could be watching this in the future. Well, you will be watching this in the future. Can you see your feet? Yes. So there you go. Yes, it's worth playing. I don't like first-person games where you can't see your feet and you're just hovering around. It's silly. Uh, <laughs> I've been playing a bit of this, quite a bit of this. Uh, I'm not far into it, actually, at all. I've done the tutorial. I enjoyed the original Dead Island games. They were okay. They were janky as all hell, but um, this is good, dumb fun, and it is dumb. The writing is, is pretty bad. I don't like the voice acting from the characters so far. But you don't really play this kind of game for that, I, I guess. Do, do you? Do you play these games for story? I don't. I, I play it for this. Like, mashing zombies with all different styles and types of weapons. So, you can customise your weapons, or rather you can build them at workbenches. You can upgrade them. You can upgrade skills. You get skill cards for your character. It's just the usual stuff. This game doesn't do anything new whatsoever. It runs really well. This is on Series X. Let's see if we've got an online session we can join and see. I don't think we do it like that. There you go. I'm in an online session. So I've joined some random players. Two dudes who look exactly the same, by the way. And it found um, some co-op friends, even though they're not my friends. Co-op randoms, there you go. They found a game very quickly. Very, very quickly. Again, I'm on Series X. This is currently on Game Pass. Xbox Game Pass, not PC Game Pass, from what I can gather. But would I buy this game? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy this game. Unless you found it in the PlayStation sale for like 20 quid, 15 quid. I'd go to 15 quid, no more. Again, it's dumb fun. It's running around. It's 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 this. Um, there is a bit of story. Like I say, the story's not very interesting, in my opinion. It's very throwaway. And that's what I like about it. Sometimes I need this kind of game so I can just escape reality. Maybe listen to some music or listen to one of my podcasts. And just run around and mash stuff and not worry about the story. I don't really pay attention to what is going on. Um, basically, though, in a nutshell, no spoilers here, but the protagonist, the guy you play as, or whatever character you choose, it doesn't have to be a guy, it could be a gal, um, you are immune to the virus. I've been bitten. This happens right at the beginning, so I'm not giving any spoilers here. You've been bitten. Oh, do you, <laughs> do you see his kick? And, uh, yeah, you're immune. And that's it in a nutshell. I've joined this game with these two dudes, and it feels like there are more zombies when you're online. Because I've been playing a lot of single player, or a bit of single player. I keep saying a lot. I haven't played a lot of this game. The little I've played, I would say, it's worth playing. It is, it's definitely worth playing if you've got Xbox Game Pass. It's not worth buying at full price so there's a caveat to these worth playing videos but yeah this is fun i like it it does run well very smooth frame rate looks nice on series x it's a pretty game it's it's not gonna blow your mind in any way it's a it's a good solid seven out of ten game this is in my opinion um i can't see it opening up or rather i can't see um, a lot of stuff happening from here on that I haven't seen before. So it's one of those games I'm kind of happy to form a conclusion, even though I've only played an hour and a half, two hours. I'm going to get out of here because these guys are way ahead of me in the story by the looks of things. So let's get back to my single player game. There we go. I actually prefer playing alone unless I'm with a good friend and we're on the headset and we're talking to each other i prefer to play single player but if you do or if you don't mind joining randoms there you go you can do so and fight your way through the street infested zombie infested street street infest the street infested streets here are your cards skill cards so 
you got your abilities and that kind of thing and then i like how they do this the progression system in this is is pretty cool it's very streamlined it's it's executed well and it's a good game it's a, it's a solid like i say it's a solid 7 out of 10 game and it's cool that it's finally on game pass i've been holding off buying this when i saw the trailer for this the most recent trailer we had before the game released i was hyped for it and then the reviews started hitting and everyone was like it's okay it's it's a bit average can't get up there um but i like it i like this game I, i'm gonna play this to completion for sure like i say good dumb fun and sometimes that's all you want and if you are a big fan of the george romero zombie flicks or the the walking dead series and you just you know you just love the zombie universe and, and zombie lore and that kind of thing you're gonna love this the combat in this is very good it's very satisfying um it i just hope this game doesn't outstay its welcome basically i hope that it does change things up a little bit as the game progresses like i say i'm about an hour and a half two hours in in the story here i haven't done any side stuff yet you do get side quests popping up but i haven't tried any of them yet I'm just exploring this random house here. Not really doing anything like story related. That's a nice table. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Dead Island 2. Yes, it's worth playing. I like it. It's decent. Don't pay full price for it. It's not worth it. I'll speak to you all soon.